On this episode of Create Can Repeat, I'll show you how to create the popular one-on-one -on -one interview setup with lower third graphics and an animated background using your A10 Mini Pro and OBS. And in case you're wondering, it doesn't matter if your guest is local or remote. Whether you're watching the local news or catching up on your favorite sports team, the one-on-one -on -one interview has become ubiquitous. But conducting this sort of interview on the A10 Mini Pro can be challenging due to its limited keying capabilities. Thankfully, with little ingenuity, you can achieve broadcast quality results. Before we begin, you will need the following equipment. An A10 Mini Pro, two cameras if you plan to do this locally, OBS, image editing software like Photoshop, motion graphics software such as After Effects if you want to create your own looping background, and a PC or Mac with a secondary display like you see right here. And if you plan to conduct a remote interview over Zoom, you'll need a second computer in place of that second camera I mentioned earlier. And one more thing, I recommend that that second computer be a laptop like this MacBook right here. Now, in order to give your interview that premium look and feel, we'll need to design overlay graphics. And since this isn't a tutorial on how to use Photoshop, I'm just gonna walk you through how I set up my file. Obviously, feel free to add your own personal touches along the way. First, we will need to set up our canvas size, which will be 1920 by 1080. Next, we need some sort of background. Any solid color, gradient, or image will do. Once you've decided upon a background, we will need to define the boxes in which our talking heads will live. I suggest going as big as possible while leaving space for titles and a place in the middle to mask the seam. When designing these boxes, ensure the middle is transparent since we are going to export them with a pre-multiplied alpha channel. Once that's done, we can create titles underneath each window with you and your guest's respective name and title. Once that's taken care of, we can export the file to the ATEM Mini Pro Media Pool by selecting File, Export, ATEM Switcher Media Pool. A dialog box will open, give it a name, and tick both the pre-multiply alpha and set to media player one checkboxes before hitting export. With that out of the way, let's hop on over to the ATEM software control panel and set up our split screen. We'll begin by selecting our host's main camera in the program section. For me, that is camera two. Next, we will open the upstream key one drawer and select the DVE tab. Here, we can select our guest's camera from the fill source dropdown. For me, that's gonna be the A7S III. For you following along at home, you may notice that nothing has happened yet. And that's because we haven't activated the key from the next transition section. Once you tap on air, you should see your guest's camera feed. Clearly the positioning is off, but with a few minor adjustments, we will have a perfect split screen. Let's head back to the DVE tab and input the number eight in the X position text box and a one in both the X and Y size text boxes. Now all we need to do is add a mask to refine the placement. Just input the number eight in both the left and right text fields. The final step will be scrolling down to the border section and making sure this is unticked. As you can see, we have a perfect split screen but the host camera feed doesn't have the subject centered in frame. And here is where the ingenuity part comes into play. Due to the limitation of the A10 Mini Pro, your host will need to shift his body to the right, which is a pretty simple solution. Now, I think we can all agree that having a perfect split screen is pretty cool, but it is a far cry from professional broadcast quality. And this is where our background graphic comes into play. Let's open the downstream and select Media Player 1 from the fill source dropdown and Media Player 1 key from the key source dropdown. Then activate the downstream key and voila, you have something that looks way more professional, don't you think? But why stop here? I promised you guys animation. And in order to do that, we will need to open OBS and create a new scene, which we will call interview. Next, we will add a looping animated background that you can create in After Effects. Not well versed in After Effects? No problemo. Just do a search on Google for free looping video background 1920 by 1080. Once you've created or downloaded a looping video, select the plus sign and select media source. 
When that dialog box opens, locate your file and ensure looping and restart playback when source becomes active are ticked. Once that's done, we will want to add an image that contains the titles and frame. So head back to Photoshop and remove the background from the image we created earlier. It should now look a little like this. Once that's done, please click File, Export, Save for Web. When the dialog box opens up, select Ping 24 and tick Transparency. Head back to OBS and add an image source. Give it a name and find the file we just created. You should now have something similar to this. In my case, I've created a surreal 80s work of art that would make Max Headroom proud. Okay, doors. God, he's so dreamy. Now, before we head back to the ATEM software control panel, right-click and select Windowed Projector Preview. When the window pops up, right-click on that screen and select Full Screen and select BDM HDMI, which should be your secondary display. This is extremely important. The last thing we have to do now is change the fill source in the ATEM software control downstream key to the HDMI input your computer is connected to. In my case, it's HDMI 4, which I have titled iMac and leave your key source set to Media Player 1 key. And with that, you now have a looping animated background playing as you conduct an interview. Talk about pro. But wait, for those of you paying close attention, I did say that this can be used whether you are conducting a local or remote interview. And to do that, you will need a second computer plugged into an HDMI input on the A10 Mini Pro. In my case, I will replace the Sony A7S III with this MacBook right here. Once you have everything connected, load up Zoom, create a meeting and send your invite. And when your guest appears, go full screen and select speaker view. Your guest should now be perfectly positioned in your picture and picture. And yes, for those of you wondering, the host video feed will be different on your actual live stream than the feed that your guest will see, since that will be coming from the camera on your laptop. And lastly, ensure that speaker is set to BMD HDMI and that the audio channel is set to on on the ATEM control panel. And there you have it, a one-on-one -on -one interview that not only looks pro as fuck, it can be conducted locally or remotely. Questions? Don't be afraid to leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. And as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell button, because I want to keep growing this channel, and the only way to do that is with your support. See you guys next time. <laughs>